Hey guys, so guess where I'm at? Well, you got it. I'm in do 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 do. I'm in Hollywood, and I'm around a lot of tourists. And I thought, you know what? I'm on my way home. Why don't I just do a video about ketosis, uh, about the non-BS diet, as I call it? So basically, I want to talk to you guys today about not having like energy, energy, energy. No, 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 no. Not about that. Not about the business. I want to talk to you. Well, sort of about the business. I want to talk to you about is keto for everyone. Now, I've mentioned that before in another video. But all these people around me, it's for everybody. Every demographic, every size, every age, every gender. Because it's primal. It's our primal nature to eat high fat. Now, we have amylase in our saliva. We are meant to break down starches and sugars, but not more than five grams, which is a teaspoon, every time you eat a meal. Because blood sugar dysregulation creates problems in people's DNA. I call that epigenetics. Now, I'm not really trying to get people in the shot, like I'm not trying to get their faces, that's why I'm always pointing my camera upwards. But I wanna talk about people wanting to use the ketogenic diet to lose weight. And I get it, I get it. It's a great, great strategy to for bodybuilders, for athletes, for the average person, obese people, to drop body fat. But how you get into ketosis is freaking key. It's like the master key. And you have to know all of the right, you have to have all your ducks in line for you to have success. So how do you have success? Well, really, you could have success on any whole food diet. You could have success on the paleo diet. You could have success on a ketogenic diet or anything that's just about not dieting. Please do not, and listen to me clearly, please do not lower your calories in hopes to lose weight because all you're going to do is mess up your metabolism. Don't believe me? Look around. It's not like people are overeating. No, they're not overeating. Their metabolism is deranged. What does that mean? It means the thyroid, the adrenals, your hormones, your heart. I mean, everything is not working. Your thyroid. I mean, that's a big indication of something going wrong with your metabolism is your thyroid. The people are walking around with adrenal fatigue. They don't even know it. So how do you figure that out? Or what do you do about it? What do you do if you've got a PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome? What if you have low T? What if you just have one of these normal Crohn's disease, leaky gut, all that stuff I keep talking about? And I'm going to keep talking about it because you're not going to get in shape until you fix those things. So people were like, well, what do you do? Do I go on a like master cleanse? I'm like, please don't. Do I do on a, go on a juice fast? I'm like, hell no. What you do, there's two ways to do this business, right? Drop my bag here. There's two ways to work this out. You could either do a low carb paleo diet and keep your carbohydrates in, or you can do go full keto. Now, what's the difference between keto and paleo? Well, paleo doesn't put your body into a state of ketosis. No. And what is ketosis? That's where you get your brain to understand ketones, which is units of fat from either what you're eating or from your body. Now it takes, you have to go in stages for your body to actually, or your brain to access your body fat, to be able to burn your fat, to get shredded. In the very beginning, your body is so dependent on glucose, and I've mentioned this several times, of course when your body's I don't want a bunch of backs. I gotta, I gotta put my camera, point my camera upwards. It's so funny when you got tourists. They like stand, They actually think that the camera is not pointed at me. They think I'm just pointing it at this building up above, which is hilarious. So people are like walking around the camera. But, okay, I digress. So basically, what you want to do is, if you want to lose weight, yeah, if you want to get healthy, because it's really I like to use the weight loss thing to really backdoor you with getting healthy, because that's really what it's about. So people are like, well, I don't really want to do keto. I just want to do low carb. What do I do? What starches am I going to eat? And I'm like, yo, sweet potato, right? Number one. Yeah, people are like, sweet potato. Get over it. Get over it. 
takes three weeks to change your taste buds. Get over it. It's a great, great tube board. It's really great slow burning, high fiber, low glycemic carbohydrate if you do not want to get into a state of ketosis. That's what I'm saying. People, people, people everywhere. Look at that. And Chinese theater. All right, back to step. <laughs> Don't be distracted by all the things. I did this on purpose, right? Buildings behind me, up, around, and. Terminator 2. All right. Terminator 2. Gone with the wind. Oh, they're, oh, you know what they're talking about? They're talking about all of the famous signatures and the ground and the tours and all that. That's what they're talking about. Of course, I digress. And if my phone rings, I'm going to get pissed because I'm five minutes into the second. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to eat sweet potatoes. I prefer breaking the fast. If you are a young athletic male or young fit athletic female, you can go ahead and fast to your lunchtime. But for the rest of you guys, hell no. Do not intermittent fast. It's not that it's not good. It's just not good if you have metabolic derangement, and most people do. Yes, they have metabolic derangement. That means one of those systems, either their gut, the bacteria, the, the uh, H. pylori, low stomach acid, your uh, adrenals, one of those is not working. <laughs> I said it's right by the people. One of those is not working. So, uh, how do you know? Look at your well, not the little girl, she's cute, but, or not that one. That is a little cute little. Uh, there's, there's normal people finally around me. If you see normal people, basically what I'm saying, how do you know? Well, you can see it in the way people's bodies are. You can see when men have low T because their muscles become very soft and they kind of get the kind of chromastia thing going on. And women start to become very like hippie and booby and all this kind of stuff and that's a sign of high estrogen. So if you want to deal with that, you don't want to go full keto because paleo is about eating whole foods. It's about eating whole food, foods so you just, just learn how to be healthy. Your body's still glucose dependent, your brain is still glucose dependent, so you still have to eat every couple of hours, even if you have hyperglycemia, but those whole food starches, like fruits and tubers and whatnot, are, are going to be your friend rather than your foe. But for those who want to go full keto, you got to drop your carbs. Instead of doing the 150 grams of paleo carbs, you want to do 15 grams to 20 of keto carbs until you find your carb tolerance, right? What does that mean? That means how many carbs can I get away with and still be in ketosis? Now, the more athletic you are and the more muscle you have, the higher your carbs can be. But most people aren't super athletic, so that's not going to work. Let's just go ahead and drive it down. That means you can still keep in vegetables. What kind of vegetables? Cruciferous vegetables. But you could also do greens, right? I don't just mean like the, the stems, the stocky, like uh, uh, asparagus or broccoli or Brussels sprouts. I mean the greens. Look out for the kale and look out for the broccoli. Well, not really the broccoli. You can just look at the amount of carbohydrates. Go Google it. You can either do the total carbs or you can do the net carbs. I do the net carbs because I'm eating whole foods. So this is very applicable to the ketogenic diet when counting total or net. Net means you're going to minus the fiber from the total number. Then you drive your carbs down to 15 to 20 grams. But people are like, oh, success. No, no, no. Not success. Then you've got to go in stages. First stage, brain's like, what the hell? Tired, keto flu. Some people have it, some people don't. If you don't have it, you're stoked, right? If you do have it, you're bummed. So if you do have it, you got to even take your, it's going to take a long, long time. Like, obviously, keto coach, I talk about this stuff all the time. The biggest problem with people not adapting isn't it that they can't, it's just that they're impatient. You can't be impatient on the keto diet. Each system, even before you try, each system needs to heal one by one. So if you hear about it, don't just go, oh, I'm going to do the keto diet and drop your carbs and up your fats. A lot of people don't eat it. Oh, no problem. <laughs> they're still not eating enough uh, fat. You've got to eat enough fat. How much fat? I've said this before. You have to eat a ton of fat until your brain starts to realize you're not starving. It starts to convert the ketones into a viable source of energy. And then, my friends, you can drop your fat and access your body fat. That's basically how it works. But 
the stages, how long, the keto flu, the bacteria, the issues, the health issues that slow your progression, the blue light. Look at that beautiful blue light. Isn't that lovely? It's real, you guys. The, the circadian rhythm is real. Now, when people go into my website, I give a list of things that you can eat, you can't eat. People are like, you're so strict, no cheese, no this, no that. And I'm like, yeah, because I started keto coaching, they weren't getting into ketosis. And I was like, oh, what do I do? I was like, okay, well, it's time to tighten all the boat, bolts and like, like batten down all the hatches and just literally go for it. You only live once. You might be deficient in all these things. I've said it before in a thousand videos. You might defi be deficient in my biggest thing is low stomach acid. I didn't realize that as you got older, your stomach acid lower, blah, 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 and then you have undigested food just sitting in your stomach all day long. Well, that creates cortisol, and cortisol produces sugars, and sugars produce insulin, and that insulin blocks your fat breakdown. So I've got awesome strategies, not only for keto, but for paleo, how to unlock your metabolism how to get right with your system so you can get healthy, so you can sleep, so you can get the energy that you need. A lot of people have fibromyalgia, which is chronic pain. People have inflammation in their joints. It's way beyond your mic macros, you guys. I love it, because now we got like a new group of people all over the place. Yeah, it's not just about stress. Like This is a stressful situation, but it's about focusing. Someone said to me, Stephanie, remember to remind people that your body is a reflection of your mind. If you don't like your body, change your mind. Is it possible? Yes. Sometimes when I talk to my mother, she's like, I'm getting older, you know, I'm just not going to change. I'm like, everyone can change. Everyone. It's all about your thinking. Our brains are very exceptional. So, ooh, buy your VIP tour. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't jump because I got stuff between my knees. Uh, I mean a bag. A bag. Du, du, du. Okay, here we go. So basically what you want to do is, I know people are like, what's meditating? But like meditating is not a bad idea. I always tell people to turn off technology way before you go to bed to reset your circadian rhythm. Don't work out late, you guys are producing too much cortisol at night and learn about the hip training. But if you really, 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 really want to get into ketosis, you've got to do whatever it takes. I'm so tired of everybody whining and complaining about what they don't feel like doing. It's not that they can't do it, they don't feel like doing it. If you don't like your life, change it. If you don't like your body, change it. If you don't like your job, change it. If you don't like your relationship, change it. Yeah? Learn not how to get stuck with the neo core, the frontal cortex, that's your identity. And you think that once the synopsis, the key into the lock's been created, you can't unlock that key and change your mind? You can. All these people around me, they can change if they want to. So I'm 46, just turning 47, was a pro skater, shredded my knee, can't run, jump, lunge, or squat, can't run out of a burning beer building, and I decided to change my mind. I decided I wanted to preserve my DNA and stay uber young because I got a lot of shite to do, you guys. I don't have time to get a big butt. But I don't got a time for that stuff. Okay, guys, if you want to learn more how to keto adapt and learn more about my new strategies on paleo, keto, all the different protocols and strategies that I create to get you there, go to stephanieperson.com or Stephanie the Business Person to learn more that, like, you've got to work out. You will not have success if you don't move your body. You don't have to go to a gym. You just got to get your ass, your arse, excuse me, you got to get your arse out of the house and get moving, guys. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. You won't be able to change your body if you do not if you do not change everything that's stale, crusty old bunghole bread. You have to change it all. Um, oh yeah, I'm on Instagram, so you can go to Stephanie Ketogenic to see more. I'm posting a lot of pictures because I actually used to be a professional photographer. So yeah, I'm, you know, can't stand social media. I mean, I love it. I, I, I really do. I love it. I just, I love it. Can't you tell? So um, go and learn more. And uh, Stephanie, this is it's versus my fan page on um, my Facebook, and I've got a lot of people real close, which is best friends by now. I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, guys, we're at 14 minutes, so bing, 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 bing.